Okay, we're talking about resistors in parallel and we're looking at this equation which can be used to find R which is the total resistance for multiple resistors connected in parallel. And in this case we have three resistors and you see they're connected in parallel. And this diagram isn't exactly like the other ones that we've drawn before, but the, the essential aspect is still present here. And that is that the current that comes out of the battery divides into multiple branches. Some of the current goes through R1, some goes through R2, and some goes through R3. So those are in parallel. And now we're going to work an example problem. And here it is. We're told that resistor 1 is 6 ohms, resistor 2 is 4 ohms, and resistor 3 is 3 ohms, and they're all connected in parallel, and we want to find the total resistance. And we'll do that with this formula. 1 over R is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And let's put in the numbers. We'll write 1 over R. Now be careful here. When you write 1 over R1, R1 is 6 ohms. Don't write one-sixth of an ohm like that. R1 is in the denominator and R1 is 6 ohms so that unit the 6 or, or the ohms there should be attached to the 6. It should be written like this. This should be 1 over 6 ohms and R2 is 4 ohms so 1 over R2 is 1 over 4 ohms and R3 is 3 ohms so 1 over R3 is 1 over 3 ohms. And so those ohms are all in the denominator and that, that should make sense because the R is in the denominator. Now we have three fractions here. We need to add them up. To add them up they need to be like fractions or in other words we need to have a common denominator. And the common denominator here is pretty easy to see. It's going to be 12 ohms. So I need to write this with a denominator of 12 ohms. Each of these needs to be written with a denominator of 12 ohms. So this first one, 1 over 6 ohms is the same as 2 over 12 ohms. And the second one, 1 over 4 ohms is the same as 3 over 12 ohms. And the last one there, 1 over 3 ohms is the same as 4 over 12 ohms. And you should be able to see that 2 over 12 ohms plus 3 over 12 ohms plus 4 over 12 ohms will just be 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is 9 over 12 ohms. Now don't make the mistake of thinking that you're done. Don't say okay 9 twelfths that's my answer 9 twelfths of an ohm. That's not right. What we just calculated right here was 1 over R and notice our ohms is down here in the denominator. I'm going to scroll down here and get a little bit more room if 1 over R is equal to 9 over 12 ohms, think of this as the left side of the equation and this is the right. And I'm going to reciprocate each side, that is flip each side over. So instead of 1 over R, I'll just have R over 1 on the left. And then over here, I'll have 12 ohms over 9. And 12 ohms over 9 is the same as 1.33 repeating ohms. I'll just round it to 1.33. That's my answer. That's the total resistance of all three of those connected in parallel. Now one thing to note here that's interesting is that our answer, 1.33, is less than any of the original numbers. Remember I had the, the original resistances were 6 ohms, 4 ohms, and 3 ohms. And the total resistance became less than any of those. And you might think, well if we're connecting a bunch of resistors together, wouldn't the resistance increase? Well, it would if they were being connected in series. But if you're connecting them in parallel, remember, in parallel, there's multiple paths. And connecting multiple paths gives more ways for the electrons to flow. It's like taking a highway and you're trying to get all the cars to go down the highway. Well, adding more lanes makes it easier for the traffic to flow. In the same way, adding more branches in your parallel circuit makes it easier for the electrons to get from one point to the, to the next. Even if they're branches with lots of resistance, you're still adding additional paths. And that decreases the overall resistance. Now, one other thing, I'm going to solve this problem a slightly different way. I'm going to show you that this can be done with decimals as well as with fractions. We did it here with fractions. I'm going to come back up here and do it also with decimals. 
Okay, I've got three resistors, six ohms, four ohms, and three ohms. And I'm trying to find the total resistance, and I'll use this equation. One over R is one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. And let's put in the numbers. One over R is going to be one over six ohms plus one over four ohms plus one over three ohms. Now take the calculator and do one divided by six and that gives you point zero, I'm sorry, zero point one six six seven and the unit here is one over ohms because the ohms here is in the denominator. Okay and then the next one if we do one over four that gives us exactly point two five and again the unit has the omega there, the ohms in the denominator. And then 1 over 3 gives us 0 0.3333, 1 over ohms. And we add all those up, and that gives us 0 0.745, 1 over ohms. Now what we just found here was 1 over R. 1 over R is 0 0.745, 1 over ohms. So R is going to be the reciprocal of this, 1 over 0.745, 1 over ohms. And when we take the reciprocal of 0.745, we get 1.33. And the reciprocal of 1 over omega is just omega, so 1.33 ohms. We get the same answer. You can work a problem like this using this equation with either fractions or with the decimals. And it's up to you. In some cases, the numbers work out nicely so that fractions are easier. And in some cases, the numbers just work out better so that decimals are easier. And when you're working with the decimals, when you get numbers like these, obviously, it's easier to do it with a calculator. And that's perfectly appropriate.